here with Doji Kodako at the BTSU Cassettes and Bay Gallery. Historic figures and nature. And we want to talk about his favorite painting, Golden Sun. Doji, why is this your favorite painting? First of all, I want to say this moment to thank everyone. I want to thank you. I want to thank Oliver. I want to thank Crystal. I want to thank everybody at uh, the State University of Vermont, Cassington, for giving this platform to be able to show some of my work. And I uh, kind of like to this side of the Golden Sun. Now, first, first of all, I didn't intend to create this piece. It came out of, um, what's the term, uh, by accident. Because I was working on other projects. I have a lot of pieces. I usually work multiple simultaneously. I have like a two or three pieces I'm working at the, same, at the same time. And I had a lot of leftover paints. So I didn't know what to do with them. Usually I would save the pen for some other projects. And this time around, I just so happened to have this empty canvas hanging on the wall. So I went over there with a, a palette knife. And I'm like, you know what? I could do something with this. So I went and I sprinkled something on the canvas and I went away, came back again second day, and I did the same. And with time, I can still, I see the shape forming. Before it was just like a glow of light, like a sun ray. And I'm like, what if somebody's staring in the sun, sunlight? And this is how the piece came to be. So it was a young man staring at the sunlight, trying to see himself through sun rays, or whatever you know, interpretation someone might give it. So that's what I like it. It's a, it's a form out of nothingness. Yeah, that's why I like it too. It happens to be my favorite also. So yeah, this is very arresting to me. I'm proud of you for making this and for actually for not even using a reference. It's very impressive. Well, thank you so much for you know liking it. I didn't want it to be my first, you know, my, my preferred or favorite piece. It, it just came out of nowhere, and that's what made it unique to me. Because could have been anything that I spent months working on, but. This one just so happened to be an accidental piece, which I like very much. Did you use a knife to make those yes. marks? Okay. I went over there with, um, uh, how do you call it, a fan brush to kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay. But a pallet knife was my primary tool. I've actually never used one of those before. Well, it's fun. You should try it. Okay. I will. Thank you. Now, my second question. As an artist, this is something I think about a lot. Okay. okay, how do you find time to paint? What, is, what does that look like for you? <laughs> well, I find time to paint by not making time to paint. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Uh, I go with the flow. I have a busy schedule. Uh, and if, for instance, I get out of work and I feel tired, and I go to the gym and I come back, if I still have some time, I go to the basement and just stare at my old pieces. And out of the blue, I might find myself painting, and somebody had to come and drag me out of the basement, I'll be there till tomorrow morning. Yeah. So that's usually how it comes to me. Uh, I would say I'm pretty quickly. Okay. So I don't make time when I go to the basement. And if I happen to be lucky, I'm going to create a piece before I come out. So okay. that's how I do it. Does it take you a very long time to finish one of these uh, giant portraits this year? Yep. The portrait takes me time. It's labor intensive and labor of love. Those the only piece that actually take me time. The rest of them I can rather do quickly. Okay. For every portrait I have to sit down and think and sketch and plan. Okay. And I like the challenge of it, you know. It's kind of unlike this piece that I did out of nothingness, I can do the same with the portrait because I want to get the nose right, the eyes right, the proportion right, the jaw right, and what's the story behind the background and I have to watch movies or read a book about the subject. Because last thing I wanted to do is create a piece of uh, an important figures and get it wrong, right? right. So I want to pay them homage and respect by doing a little research before I create a piece. Okay. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> so come to the bank gallery. All right. Thank you so See much. See it for yourself. It's so different in person. <laughs> Please come over. I don't think we'll come over. <laughs>